Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Reliant Kitten Restoration. It's been some time since we um, last did one of these. I've been busy with the Mark V behind me, and um, I'll just stand up a slight bit tired because behind me is the 700 subscriber special that I've also been quite busy with. So there's some content already made for it. Quite a few, three or four episodes, I think. So I've been quite busy with that as well. So what's behind me is staying secret for the moment. Well, secret for a little while yet anyway. We're nearly at 700. That's a good thing. Um, so yeah. And with a few other things I've been busy with this last while. I'll just raise my shoulders up a little bit, try and hide it. Um, basically, last weekend I got asked to go and save another kitten. So it's not going to be appearing on the channel. I've actually sold it. So, I'll let you see some photos of it just right now, and you'll get to see the car I saved, and it's now a way to be completely done up, I believe. Get a bit of, well, finish what it's been started. But anyway, I'll let you have a look at the photos, and then you can come back and we'll have the engine ready to go. So guys, as you see, it was a little Venetian Blue 1976 kitten, just a standard kitten, unlike this one that's a DL, and this one's 70, This one's two years newer, which doesn't make any odds. But anyway, I have got the kitten engine sitting on the workbench here for today's job, which is, I want to get this engine half built so I can get it back into the engine cradle ease of working on it. So I've got a gasket scraper first. Before I do anything I'm just going to go over the cylinder head, give it a quick scrape, make sure it's as clean as I can get it. Obviously you don't want to do this with anything that's going to dig in and damage the aluminium. This is the right tool for scraping gaskets. As you see there's just a residue coming off it. Not as much there. But this head was, I think, was this the? I think this was the one that was quite. Um, oh no, I had one that was worse than this. Yeah, I had a. It was the one of the well, the super vans engines was actually worse than this one. This is just the breeze come off from the old gasket. So you do want it as clean as you can. I mean, I'll be cleaning this again after the new liners are in. But this is just to give it a clean just now when the liners aren't in. So I'll get all that. I always find these little bits the awkward ones to get into. So, the kitten project should be starting to take off again in the very near future. Mainly because my chassis is going to be back. And as soon as the chassis is back, we can get the, the chassis built up to a rolling chassis. Then I need to get the engine and the gearbox fitted. Which is why the work's starting on this now. So the engine's not holding us up. Because as I'm sure you'll remember, this engine was seized solid when we got it. So basically a full rebuild was needed for it. And I'm going to find where the, the, where the studs first block went. Because there was two of them taken out of it when we did took the liners out and I have a feeling they'll probably be in the pail down there 
of all the bits. But I'll, I'll cross that bridge later, because I'll have to spend time looking for the parts off camera, because it could be anywhere. But I imagine they'll still be within the kit and stuff. Well, the other thing, the kitten's head is actually away getting skimmed just now, so that's one of the thing happening at the moment. It's actually away with the bone bug head at the same time, so hopefully they'll both be good and we'll get going again with them. Now, these are the liners, for the liners sit, I'm just giving them a good scrape round with scrape it, that one's a little bit pitted there it looks okay I'm just getting all the dirt or any corrosion out of that seal for it, well for it seals at the bottom of the liner I see better if I put on my head torch with it. So it's not the best job to let you to see. So we have to try and get down to the bottom of the liner area. But it's an important job nonetheless to make sure it's all clean. Otherwise your new liners won't seal properly and then you're going to have to take the whole engine to bits again. So that one. Now the next one's not as easy to do because it's the side of I think I'll do is we'll do it with drill and just a, a brass brush. That way it's it's not gonna damage anything. That was probably quite loud because I just had had it right next to the drill. Right. Let's see if this will reach from the top. I think it's a bit too big. that one two three and the last one oh that was a sore one Trying to get back out. There we go. I'll just try this here. Since it's brass. The brass doesn't damage the aluminium. Fine chance to just give this all a clean up. Like that. It's coming up a up the street. Now that one's gonna be awkward to do.
spin it round so I can get better access. Amazing the amount of rubbish has actually come out of there. There we go. That's that out. Front looks good, back looks good. Put my drill aside again. I'm just ready for the liners. So everything's nice clean inside there. So we've got the liners here. Brand new 850 liners. This is the second time I've got a set of these. James at CSG. Get the everything reliant related near enough, which is spot on. So this bit, put a bit of blue, blue halo mark around the joint. Not heaps, otherwise it'll just melt out, or uh, melt out, spill out into the water jacket, and you'll just find it sitting in there after you've done the engine. Now I don't know if it needs around the top, I put a little bit around the top, just for peace of mind. I'm pretty sure it doesn't need here. But, a little extra protection on it will do no harm. Right, we'll start with number one. Then you have to mine, line up that flat spot there with the next liner. It's always a good point not to fully seat a liner until you've got two in place. Otherwise, if you if you position it wrong, you're totally, absolutely, um, yeah won't work. <laughs> I'll just sit it down a minute to roll, roll up my tube a bit. It's not doing that bad, this tube, it's went a fair distance. Let's see if I can get... A little bit more out of it. This one's not as neat as my last one, because I'm running out of paste and it's coming out more thicker than I would have liked. That'll be the end of that ch um, little tube of it. We'll get the new one. Well, that one's just. Oh look, even that one's going down now. Right, just use the end. Well, we'll do it the way I do normally, which is I've got a timber block for knocking them in. So I'll grab it. Unfortunately, it stays at the other, other side of the workshop normally. It's actually a better timber block I just found though, which is handy. So, timber block onto the joint of them. That's them fully seated in. Yeah, that's them. Now I leave that hermitite or hylomar even to go off a day before getting my hands clattered in it. Otherwise it, it is very messy stuff. 
what I'll do is I'll stick it on a time lapse for the other two, I think. And what I'll do is after that is I'm going to turn the engine around and fit the crank on it as well. So we'll join you. You can join me after we've done all that. You've seen me putting a crank plenty of times in these engines. There's nothing really exciting that you're missing out on in it. So we'll see you after I've done all this. Well guys, that's in the end of another episode of the kitten restoration. I thought I would end this one slightly different and come down to the kitten since we haven't actually been near this kitten in a while. It has been moved, it was sitting there, it's now here. Just so it's easier to get in and out of here now. As uh, as you'll see there's a couple of our motors over there now. Or you might not quite see them. But the, the Parsley, well the, the Super Robin was saved from the scrapyard as well. My first car, the ZR, and my old Honda N600, which I'd love to restore, but to be quite honest, I do not have the funds to restore some car, no, that car, in that state or condition, because it would cost an absolute bomb, because most of it is rotten. But enough about it. Um, so we've built all the engine up with as much bits as we have, I've built it to, so the Cranks back in, the front and rear plates are fitted, the flywheel is temporarily back on. I need to get a new tab washer for it, because it's totally knackered. Um, and I need to get a timing chain kit for the front before I put it together. But on this thing it's quite easy to get into, so I mean I could have used the old chain and then changed it at a later date if I wanted to, but it seems a bit sloppy using old parts when a new one's not that expensive. So I'm going to go and get all that done, ordered up in the next week, hopefully. And hopefully it won't be long till uh, this lovely little kitten is on four wheels and mobile with an engine in it. But unfortunately with these cars, because they're the same as the Mark 1 Robins, if you want to do them right, and by right I mean paint the whole engine bay, you can't finish the engine wire up until it's painted or the brakes because you need to be able to take the master cylinder off to paint it so it's going to be a long time before we hear that engine start but if you're not we'll put it together we'll get it all built and we'll get it back in the car and when it goes off to painting it won't be long after that till we hear it running i think the last one it took me a week after it was back from painting to have it running and starting and driving so that'll hopefully be the same as this but this is about a year off from being painted to be honest there's quite a few cars sitting in front of it in fact there's um two cars in front of it so not that much cars but it'll take a little while before i get round to this because i can't just throw everyone at the painters all the time so that'll be it for tonight I'm going to head inside and get cleaned up because I'm covered in oil. 
and uh, yeah, I'm going to think about this kitten and what it'll look like once we get it all finished and hopefully, what a blooming flag that was! Right, sorry I'm a bit startled there, two dogs just belted out the side of the thing and flagged living daylight out of me. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and head inside, get cleaned up. Um, Aye, right, I'm going to go ahead and say get cleaned up and then I guess we'll just have to look forward to the next episode of the kitten restoration which won't be too far off hopefully and I really hope we can find the original registration for it it would look brilliant with its age related number on it well not age related, the original registration on it not a blooming age related thing anyway guys, thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this video remember to give it a like and if you want to keep up to date with all the videos on the channel and the latest updates and the latest releases, hit the subscribe button, help us reach 700 and the special gets released. It's really worthwhile getting us to that number. Believe me, the video is brilliant. I've watched it plenty of times myself and I love it every time. So, till next time guys, we'll see you again.